Hello everybody. Today I'm going to show you how to create a very very simple game using Scratch. This is a very good exercise for elementary school students because it is easy, fun, and it also teaches all kinds of programming and computational concepts. So I want you I want to show you the finished product first. So this is a game where this little boy has to move from the start to the finish uh, of this maze without touching these green walls. So uh, if I click on the left and right and down arrow key in my keyboard, I can move my character. And as you can see, it's navigating through these walls, but when it touches the walls, it bounces back. When it touches the walls, it bounces back. And then, you know, it can move all the way to the finish line and when it moves to the finish line it says you win so let's see how to create this game from the beginning so I'm gonna get out of here I'm gonna go to file and then click new uh, do you want to save this project I'll say yes and then so this is everything from the beginning so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete this sprite and I will click on a stage because right now I have to draw my maze. So I'm going to go to backgrounds and then I will say edit. So this is my paint editor so I'm going to draw the draw my maze right now. So I'm going to click on this green color and the square to draw a square and I'm going to Click on this uh, button to make sure that my square is fi filled with green color. So here is my square right there. I'm also going to draw like a narrow square over here. Another block over here. Maybe a little bit of block over there maybe another block over here and then I'm gonna draw a finish line over here so this is gonna be my finish line and maybe I will make a starting point over here so that's gonna be my maze right so now I'm going to add a sprite so you can see there are like three different options over here. If I want to add a sprite, I'm going to choose this button, which says that choose new sprite from file. So there are many different characters over here. Initially, it looks like this. You have animals, fantasy, letters, and people. So I clicked on people, and this is what I got. So I'm going to find that little boy. So boy curly. Now he's really big. Right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on Sprite one, go to Costumes and click on Edit. And shrink this, see the shrink button? You have Grow or Shrink. So I'm gonna click on Shrink and shrink him down. So now he is at a good size, but looks like I need to shrink him a bit more. So there. So now I have my uh, maze ready with my character. So now what I have to do is I have to create some controls So that when I hit the up down or left or right key in the keyboard my character moves. So I'm gonna go to script and I'm going to start creating my controls so I'll go to control and say that when the down arrow is pressed move 10 steps now in my keyboard when i press the down button my character is moving but it's actually move going to the right so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna use this block which basically says that when the down arrow is pressed point in direction and you have different directions right left up or down so when the down arrow is pressed point in direction down and move 10 steps now when i hit the arrow key my character is moving down 
but you know it the movement doesn't look that good so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna hit this face left to right button and now when i hit the arrow key it's really nicely moving down right so now i have to do the i'm gonna duplicate this and make one for up so when up key is pressed point in direction up and move 10 steps so now when i move up my little boy is moving up so i'm gonna do two more lines of codes for that so i did down up now i need one for left then it's gonna point left and also when i hit right point in direction right so now i have these controls ready so in your keyboard if you actually in my keyboard if i press the up down or left or right key my uh, little boy is moving in different directions so i have four sets of code over here by which i can control my character now the question now the thing is when my character touches this green wall i want my character to bounce off so that's something that's coming up but even before doing that when i start the game i want my character to glide to the start position so let's make a code for that so what i'm gonna do is basically bring this close stop which says that when green flag flag is clicked or when the game starts go to motion glide one second glide my character somewhere so as you can see there's an x and y coordinate over here and you know you can hover your mouse over here and look at these x and y coordinate changing so at this point my x coordinate is 20 y coordinate is 117 at this point notice this number changing at this point if i hover my mouse over here i'm exactly at when x is 113 and y is 40. So at this location, my X is minus 209 and Y is 118. So I'm going to change this to minus 209 and this to 118. So now when I click this green flag, my character nicely glides to, glides to the start position. Now, now I'm going to write a set of codes uh, which will say that when my character touches these green walls, it's going to bounce. So similarly, I'm going to say that when the green flag is clicked or when the game starts, there's a button called, I mean, a block called forever if. So this basically says it's basically a conditional block, which says that do something forever if a condition is met. So when the game starts forever if, I'm going to go to this sensing block and bring this touching block over here. So basically what I'm saying uh, is that when my character touches a certain color, do something forever. So I'm going to, for this color, I'm going to choose green. And then I'm going to say, bring this block over here and make it 180 degrees. So this, what this line of code basically says is that when the game starts, if my character touches this green color, turn 180 degrees forever. So in other words, as soon as my character touches this green color, it's going to turn 180 degrees. So let's start the game and see if, if it works. So when my character touches this green color, see it's bouncing. It's making, it's doing that it's shaking a little bit right so it's shaking so what i'm gonna do right now is i'm gonna drag this move button move block over here so now it's it's gonna turn its face to 180 degrees and then it's gonna move 10 steps away from this green walls so now if i go and hit the wall it just turns its face away from the wall and it moves 10 steps other way right so if i go down and suppose if i hit this wall it just 
turns away from that wall and uh, moves 10 steps, 10 steps away from it. So now we have, a, we have all the controls necessary to uh, make our characters move. So one last line of code that I want to add is as soon as my character goes to this finish line, I want a word, a statement to pop up, which says that you win. So to write that code, you again go to the control block and you say that when green flag is clicked or when the game starts, there is a block called wait until. So you drag this over here and you say that basically this says that when the game starts, wait until something happens and go to the next statement. So I'm going to say that when green flag is clicked, wait until my character touches the yellow color. But when it touches the yellow color, make it say something, which is say you win. You win. Right? So what this line of code says is that when the when the game starts, wait until my character touches this yellow color or the finish line. But when it touches the yellow color, pop this message that says that you win or make my character say that you win. So let's start this game and see if it works. So I'm navigating down. I'm moving. If I touch the green wall, my character bounces, as you can see. But then I can navigate out of there. Actually, let's do it in a bigger screen. So I'm, I'm going to start it all over again. So my uh, character is moving over here. And if it touches the green wall, it bounces. It faces the other direction. It moves 10 steps. And then when I touch the finish line, it says you win. So pretty simple game. So the so what exactly are the kids learning from these kinds of uh, games? So basically, they are learning different stuff. And uh, one of the things that they're learning is conditionals, right? So if you look at the set of codes over here, you can see that they're learning different conditions. Forever if, wait until, right? So forever if or wait until. The other thing that they're learning is loops, right? Where they are making, running the same sequence uh, or the, where they are running some uh, events uh, multiple times or they are learning about uh, parallelism or sequence, right? So they're learning about sequence where uh, different, uh, which is basically identifying a series of steps for a task. So in other words, over here you are, the students are basically saying, creating different sequences for their characters. And also, there is uh, parallelism. Right? So they're also learning about parallelism because uh, uh, they are making different things happen at the same time. So these are some of the computational concepts that uh, the kids are learning uh, subtly when they're making these games. So uh, that's it for today. I'll show you some more games in the future, but uh, this one is a very quick introduction of how you can use Scratch to make games. All right, thank you very much and see you soon.